coming up on Best of the West, let's learn about sustainability with these three-in-one recipes that author Erica Pitstick is in studio to share with us among some DIYs and cooking in the studio today. Let's get into it. The Best of the West show is designed to find the best companies, influencers, and business owners in the Fort Worth Metroplex. We learn what makes Fort Worth special by speaking with the experts and business owners that live, work, and play there. Whether it's the booming real estate market, amazing hospitality restaurants, or shopping, our experts dish on all things that make Fort Worth great. Hosted by the team of broadcasting professionals at Real News PR, this show is brought to you by Real News Communications Network. Welcome to Best of the West, the best in the Fort Worth Metroplex. I'm your host, Sarah Crilly, and I am so excited. Today we have a very special guest. We're going to show off her amazing book here, Taking Roots at Home. And we have such a vibrant, beautiful table here because we have so much to cover within this amazing cookbook by our author, Erica Pitstick. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I just, you have so much to share. You have little taste testers at home with your family. <laughs> you have an amazing cookbook and a do-it-yourself style that you can include the entire family. Tell us, Erica, a little bit about the book writing process and everything that inspired you to create this amazing book here. Yeah, sure thing. Well, being a mom, I mean, we all know as moms, it can be really hard to try to tackle on that to-do list, whether if it's cooking or cleaning or errands. So it just really came from a desperate, just like mother's heart of, I wanted to accomplish a lot of these things that I had saved in Pinterest. I mean, don't we all, right? Yes. We save them and we want to do them and then we forget about them. So I just started figuring out how can I make this something where it's realistic, where I'm saving, but I'm also getting them done like those bath scrubs or you know the sugar scrubs or whatever it is that I wanted to tackle on that day so as I started doing that and printing them and having them there I started realizing wait a lot of these recipes I already have they're in my pantry like I just made brownies and I just had the sugar out I just you know cooked a chicken and I had you know the special like oil out and I'm like all these things are really complementing each other and I was like, why not start kind of creating this concept where when I'm cooking, I can also kind of tackle on, you know, that other thing that I want to do, whether it's homemade lotion or a mask or whatever it is. And so because we're also in the, you know, landscape tree service industry, my husband and I, I mean, we're very passionate about nature. So it's almost like a learning kind of thing that I looked forward to every day to be like, hey, you know, what is something that I can do with the seed, like avocado seeds? I had no idea you could actually regrow them, you know, from your own home. And there's just like, there's a method to it and people have used different ones, but then you find what works for you. Yes, I love that you're maximizing the ingredients. So in her book, you can thumb through it and see, oh, you know, you've got the avocado and today we're gonna make some homemade oh guacamole, but also you have like a little hand lotion to maximize the ingredient of the avocado. And exactly. so I just think that's so amazing. And your family is just so beautiful. <laughs> when are you due? You have so many uh, kids I, already. I and here we go, baby number five. Baby number five. I know, we're excited. <laughs> we, um, I'm due in like two months, but I mean, then again, with this crazy, you know, Texas heat, who knows? He's probably like, I'm done. <laughs> but we have baby I'm coming on way. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I love the concept of, you know, making things at home, and especially if you have kids, it's just a fun way to like incorporate them and teach them. But it's also very therapeutic. I mean, for me, it was just so, it felt so good that not only was I able to get like a hot meal out there, you know, ready whenever my husband came home, but I was also like watching a plant grow that I just, you know, something that potentially I had thrown away so many times, like seeds and scraps and all these things. I'm like, you know what, they actually do have potential. They have, you know, another purpose. And then the more I started actually digging even more, I realized this is something that so many people already do and have done for so long. This is not something new. This is something that many countries and many people do implement and we call it sustainability they call it survival they call it living frugally and so i it's almost like a change of mindset of also realizing these people know how to you know make their own medicine and make their own stuff and their candles and really just uh, be efficient with what they have and it's because they don't have all the things we have so how can i put myself in that mindset 
you know, being that there's so many things around like Whole Foods and stuff that you can just go and buy things and just kind of having that self-control of like, you know what, let me try to make it. Even though if you have your those favorite products that you want to buy, it's totally fine. But at least, you know, hey, you know, comes anything happens, I know how to make something at home. And it's just like you personalize it to your own taste. So that's what I love about it. And it's not that difficult. You break it down mm -hmm. so easy in your book here. Talk about some of those easy DIYs that for the very beginning stages, like me, mom at home, working mom, yeah. you know, little Kaylee is just seven months and then Caleb's 12. So I've got a wide age range. What are some of those top ingredients and products that you can get the kids involved with, but not Oh, exhausted mama here. Yeah, <laughs> stress me out too much. <laughs> and that's honestly that's one of the other things that I really made a point with the designer in the book. It's just like I don't want to be making a mom that's already tired and overwhelmed feel even more because I would get so discouraged every time I would like try to do something or look at a recipe and there's all these steps and I'm just like I have not even gotten to you know the third sentence and I'm like okay not today yeah you know <laughs> so i started actually editing those books or those things i would print and just cross all this like unnecessary like language and verbiage and i'm just like just tell me simple steps like show me like just quickly i just want to get it done i don't need you to give make a blog out of it i don't want to read the yeah, blog yeah you know? exactly <laughs> i'm not like maybe in another time when i'm like kid free like yes i love it but no so i think the simplicity of it is super important because i want people to feel encouraged and motivated to actually try it so if I'm trying to like put too many layers on it, I mean, it's just not going to be realistic for somebody like in my stage to do it or even anybody else. Because, you know, let's face it, we're all pretty busy. So as far as what I started with, um, I mean, sugar scrubs, you can't go wrong with that. It's super easy. I mean, you basically just use your preference of sugar. I prefer like brown sugar because, you know, the texture is different. Mm -hmm. But you just honestly just kind of add, you know, olive oil and you use the consistency that you want. And you can use coconut oil, avocado oil. That's where it gets fun because you don't have to. I don't want people to think like you have to follow every single thing, ingredient. I give you kind of a way to start and then you can kind of just implement what your pref like your preference is and then you just add some essential oils and kind of play with the you know just the scent and that's basically it i mean you get a mason jar and you just seal it up and it could last you know a couple weeks if not more depending on the temperature and so i would take that to the you know bathtub or shower and just scrub away and there you have it you got your sugar scrub that if you were to go anywhere else you would pay 12 bucks 15 bucks and you just made it for less than five yes and it sounds so luxurious to be yeah. able to do that at home and enjoy it's like it. i made it <laughs> yes. and i love what you brought here today what are we making erica okay so avocado i mean obviously we all know the benefits of avocados i love it but um that's one thing that my husband loves here he's you know native to texas so mm -hmm. it's a big deal here but also being from el salvador i mean we would eat avocados all the time so guacamole obviously had to make it in the recipe list here and we are just uh, putting just basic ingredients i mean again you guys can kind of play with the recipe my hope is that when people look at the recipe even if you make the guacamole different you just understand the concept you start kind of making it just this like natural thing of thinking oh wait i remember i can actually save this avocado seed or oh wait i can actually you know use like some of the avocado put it on the side because i'm gonna make like a you know like a hand moisturizer which is that's what's in the book and I love that you paired those together because avocado is just so moisturizing, but yeah. also to be able to, you know, you get it on your hands, like, oh, this is really moisturizing, but then adding the egg white to it, and mm -hmm. then you're just like, now my hands get so dry, and especially in this Texas heat, y'all, like, thank you for this hand moisturizer, so I can't yes. wait to make it. So we're going to jump right in and make this right now. So depending on the party size, I mean, obviously, I mean, I put in here five large avocados because we're, you know, a big family. Avocado peels are great for composting too. So that's one thing that many times I threw away and I didn't realize, oh my gosh, my soil would have been so happy and thriving with this extra stuff that I thought was trash. Yes, I always feel so bad when I'm just like throwing away the banana peels. And I have the seeds here. And again, it's going to get messy. That's okay. We love mess. And especially cooking with kids. I hey, love mess. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. And honestly, one of the things that I like about this too is that I love reusing this 
And if I end up using some of the avocado, I actually reuse it and put the avocado with the tomatoes and the onions. Oh. And then it kind of becomes like a personal little like Yeah, bowl. a little cup. A little, a little bowl. So if yeah. you're outside and you have chips, you're just kind of eating through it. You don't have to like get all this extra like bowls and mess and all that stuff. You are so, so right. Oh, I love that. So you can do that. So just reuse it as really cute bowls. And you just feel like you're in Jamaica or something. <laughs> so then just put some a little squeeze of the lemon. And you could use lime if you want. I mean, Ooh, it's your the preference. Studio. Smells I know so it smells good. so good. Now we got the onions. We got the celery, which we can also chop a little bit. I don't How, know, much? Do you like, How much? Do you like onions? I do. I That's, love my onions. My husband does not like onions, so I have to sneak them <laughs> in there. But, I mean, there's actually little tools that are really cool that you can actually like pull the herbs and make it mm. so much easier. But I just oh, the cilantro. Use, yeah, it smells so fresh. It's so good. <laughs> it's so fresh, and it's so good for you grab this one so but well, we have this we have the salt that we're missing oh here's the salt and then we have tomatoes which you can also cut can I'll be cut out here yeah this is such an easy recipe it's super easy and again I mean you can make it your own which is fun you can play. Yes, I always buy the store-bought guacamole and never thought, oh, I'll just make this at home. I bet it tastes so fresh. Yes. And the trick also to keeping it fresh, if you do make it ahead of time, is you can actually use the seeds what? and put them in there and it'll keep it from going like that brownish kind of nasty You're color. You're kidding me. Yeah. Oh so there's gosh. a reason to those seeds that keeps it, you know, <laughs> fresh and then you cover it and so I those seeds no help. I idea. Yeah. Okay, producer Wyme, how much do you like a guacamole? Oh, I love guacamole. It's one of my favorite uh, sides. I love it so much. Let's scoop you up some. Here we go. Do you like the onion and the yeah. tomato? I do. Yes, yes, yes. Here, I'll come over to you. Here he is, the behind the scenes. Here we go. We always gotta feed the producers. Mm. 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 How fresh mm. and amazing that is that? That was amazing. I'm ready to dig in now. Especially with the lemon. The lemon adds so much flavor. So mm. how do you know if your avocado is ripe enough? I always have that problem, so I'll do like a little like... The field test. That's field the test? I mean, it's the worst when you're like in the store and you're like touching everything right, mm -hmm. but that's the best way to really just know, at least for you me. You know what I heard is if you pick off that little seed and it's green, mm -hmm. it's not ready, but buy it because by the next day, if you just pick off, there's always like this little seed here. Oh, wow. And if it's brown on the inside, then it's ready. It may be too ready, so you want to still get it a little green. That's a but trick it, right there. Yeah. I have no idea. So there you have it. There you have it. TikTok. Something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, TikTok. I'm like, feel them all and see if they're ready. Yeah, so but, you just pick off that little seed. Here's one. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you do, okay, here, you want to do the little seed test check? So again, if it's green, great. So you want to make sure that it's brown. And I was always like, you know trying to figure out how do i make sure okay it's green it's perfect but again pro it may or may not be ready for tonight so you got to see if it's squishy it's still a little firm but you always want to check if it's brown it's like you gotta eat this thing now well <laughs> and i think people don't know because i didn't know for a while but if it's like the perfect like just consistency and you know it's going to be delicious but you are using it the next day and you're just afraid that's going to get well you can actually put it in the freezer really you avocados? can put avocado on the freezer and then you can take it out a couple hours before you use it and let it thaw out and it's perfectly fine it doesn't like affect the taste or anything that's so, so fantastic those, i love those tips because i'm like wow that would have really saved me from really nasty guacamole <laughs> but yeah so this is again simple you pick the perfect avocados so that's i mean your trick works for sure <laughs> uh, and chef's kiss to you Mwah. so delicious okay so now that was this side of the page now we're going to this side of the page and we're making your avocado hand treatment so again we're maximizing those ingredients and going from a guacamole to a hand treatment i love it i know and so the whole point is like here you are you're at home you just finished it everything's <laughs> ready and then now you have all this extra like avocado just hanging here with the seeds which you're going to wash these seeds um to use them for plants or whatever um and then Honestly, I just kind of look at it and I just kind of measure. I know people like measurements, but I think part of the fun, it's just to really, you know, just try and see like, hey, actually less eggs or more eggs are better for me. So it's totally a preference, but 
For this recipe, we're using two egg whites. Again, try to keep the eggshells because again, they're great for not just the garden, but also you can make really cool crafts with the kids. Oh. And if some of the, you know, yellow stuff on the egg goes in there, don't worry about it. I mean, it's all moisturizing. It's fine. I mean, it's natural. It's eggs. I mean, I put eggs on my hair and it's awesome. But this particular mask, especially for dryness, I mean, with all this heat and stuff, it's really good. So we're just going to squeeze a little bit of lemon. And I mean, and this is like, you would think this would be something that you would like cook with or do something because it would be something you would cook or eat, or you should be using in our skin, in our hair, in our, you know what I mean? Natural product, right? Yes. So. I'm taking my jewelry off. <laughs> <laughs> my hands are so dry and they're already thanking you because I, I can't know. wait to just, and also just that sensation of feeling the ingredients, the mm -hmm. fresh ingredients in your hand and like, oh, I don't need to wash it off right away. like. Hey, you know, we got a little bit of time. Let's just like add some. Yeah, and I mean, and it's okay if it feels weird at first because we've been used to buying stuff and just putting it on and it just like feels good and that's it. But this is just kind of like a process to embrace that while you're in the kitchen and while you're like snacking and while everything else is done, you take five minutes of just a little like me time and spa time or, you know, yes. make this with your kids and just have fun with it and kind of explain the ingredients and kind of just let them sit there for five, ten minutes. I mean, depends on how much you want to do. I sometimes put it in my face while I'm at it, put it in my neck, and then I just kind of like, it starts absorbing and you kind of just forget about it, and then you wash it. Okay, this is better than any lotion I've ever yeah, put on my hands. I mean, high five, sticky high five. <laughs> and it's just like, and the oatmeal and stuff, it's just like, you just kind of exfoliate mm -hmm. and you can just start going like when you start and you start seeing oh my gosh this is good you actually start like you know after this i'm gonna have to probably go and take a shower yes but, <laughs> but it's kind of like contagious i mean because you just want to like get it all over yourself it is it just feels yeah. so nourishing okay now let's talk about your family i know you have a family-owned business mm -hmm. and how you met your husband and all the things dish on all the things with your family because you are just so amazing yeah. and i'm just gonna sit here and kind of i know <laughs> scrub my hands and, and you sometimes tell me a story and it's okay <laughs> if you pat and dry it a little okay. bit and then you just kind of like you know just that's it let it let yeah. it dry on and you. then you just wash it later I but yeah it. as far as my family i mean it's funny because, I mean, I was telling you how I was born and raised in El Salvador, so it's a whole different culture. So I never thought I would be living in Texas, and I mean, now that I'm married to, like, a native kind of cowboy, ranch man kind of Texas boy, um, it's really opened the opportunity for me to implement those things that I grew up knowing in El Salvador. So I just, I love being able to be here and just, um, yeah, just really have my kids be a part of this journey of just reliving a lot of my childhood, which this stuff that you kind of see on the book, it's just stuff that we used to just play around with at home. I mean, we had avocado trees and the avocados were like this big in El Salvador. They were really? like huge. So I'm like, this is an what avocado? Is this? Yeah, this is so what small. Is this little guy. <laughs> yeah. And the so, baby. <laughs> it's so different. So, I mean, the organic, natural, all that kind of concept. I mean, I grew up with that and I thought it was normal. Mm -hmm. So that when I came um, to the States, I mean, I just realized, wow, there's a lot of these things that I'm not used to, but how can I make these things that I learned, you know, back in El Salvador and implement them in my home? Yeah. So it's been a journey, obviously, because my husband's American. So there's a culture kind of thing yes. about a lot of things, but he does not complain with natural homemade stuff, you know, so. I bet he loves yeah. it. Okay. And Cher, here we are in our home here at the Aurelius Communication Studios. We are in the heart of downtown Fort Worth. Again, you'll see buses and sometimes you'll see a sheriff on horseback. Yes, we are downtown Fort Worth. Yeehaw, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> What's Bring it been it like living in Fort Worth and raising your family here? Uh, I mean, I just love it. I mean, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, we bought our first home in Fort Worth. So Fort Worth is just has a special, you know, part of my heart. And now that we moved, it's still kind of Fort Worth, but the people are just so nice. The culture, there's so many different things that you can do with your kids, but also on date nights. And I mean, a lot of really good restaurants were big on like trying new foods and stuff. So I love the diversity, but just that's like Western hospitality. Mm -hmm. You just can't go 
by that and like not really like notice it i mean from me parking right here outside i mean a person was actually trying to get their parking ticket and they canceled and stopped what they're doing so that i could go first because he oh. was just being a gentleman so those things that you don't you know see in any other place i mean you see it here in fort worth yes they say mm -hmm. fort worth is where the west begins y'all <laughs> i always say fort worth is like a warm hug i do yeah. i just absolutely love walking the streets and you know you got the cowboy hats and the cowboy boots and that's just like everyday life here and uh, one of our studios in dallas and it's just such a dramatic difference from the dallas studios to the fort worth well, studios like it's really fun yes. like, yeah. <laughs> so it's really fun so you guys got to get down here to downtown fort worth and come see us and of course get this cookbook, the DIY, all things to be able to include your family with Erica's amazing book, Taking Roots. And Erica, yeah. can you leave us with just some words of wisdom uh, to the families that are like, oh man, you know, I just feel overwhelmed. I need to slow things down. Have mm -hmm. you ever felt that way? And, and oh, what yeah. do you do to kind of self remedy? All the time. I mean, I mean, my biggest thing is like, we kind of overcomplicate things a little mm. bit. We make them like harder and bigger. We have this stereotype on even homemaking that it's supposed to be this type of version of a person, not me. I'm, you know, I'm incorporate. I'm working all day. I don't have time. Really, you saw that it only took less than five minutes to whip this together. Literally less than five minutes. And so. my hands are just so silky smooth. Yeah. The egg white has dried. <laughs> and so it absorbs it. Your skin will absorb it. And now we just got the oatmeal flakes. Yes. Right? You just have to. And it doesn't smell like eggy, you know? It smells fresh. Yeah. It smells like oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I and never buy a lotion you wash again. It. <laughs> <laughs> then you wash it and it's not like another feel. So yeah, I would just really encourage you, um, you know, for those viewers that are watching, it's just, just try little things here and there and then just make it work for what works for you. And you'll be surprised on the things you'll discover through that journey. Thank you so much, Erica. We'll have to have you back and bring the kiddos Yay, and this newborn you. that's on the way. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. This show is brought to you by Real News Communications Network, your digital destination for video podcasts, produced by media and podcast experts. Podcasting at the speed of news, powered by Real News PR. Visit realnewscn.com for our podcast show library and launchashow.com to do just that. Launch a show. And to find out more about our special guest, Erica Pitstick, our author today of Taking Roots at Home, visit her website. That's taking-roots.com.